And I, I want to close uh, with, uh, well, a, a very personal walk along the Murray River with a dear friend of mine, Leonie McIntosh, a Wiradjuri woman, uh, a woman uh, living with the tough results uh, of cancer treatment, still alive, still with us. And uh, Leonie, we all love you. Let's go to the Murray. When I feel pretty yuck from the cancer journey, sad or grieving, when I get really scared and anxious, I have to go connect with country and I have to take that time out. They call it Yindamara, time to listen, to be still, to be quiet. And I know I definitely need that during my cancer time because if I don't be quiet and I don't be still and I don't gain that energy and love from the earth, Wiradjuri country, I'll get disconnected. Watching the river flow kind of takes away, takes away the grief that's there, it kind of, you know, you can mourn and grieve with the river. You can take some leaves off the tree and you can say, I no longer want this pain and throw it in the river. We'll place our hands to gain strength and to ask permission to take some leaves to help us with our grieving. And if you notice, it's dead calm. So we have that permission to take the leaves mm. from the tree. And I'd like to share them mm. with you. Mm. And I'll go and take some of these ones for me. Thank you. Connected to country, regardless of being, you know, an Indigenous person or non-Indigenous person, regardless if you're born in Australia or not born in Australia, water is central to life. Water is very important and the river is especially important for me. Take away the grief and all the hurt and the loss. I wonder if we'll hear the kookaburras today. I thought I heard one earlier on. In the river, she keeps calling out my Nabila. She keeps calling out my Nabila. She keeps calling out my name. 